In White Pine County, Nevada, USA, KGHM's Robinson Mine has been extracting copper, gold, and silver since the late 19th century and has more recently extracted molybdenum. Today, the conventional open pit surface operation, located nearly 7,000 feet above sea level, produces an average of approximately 125 million pounds of copper per year. One of the things that has made us first decide to look for uh, a Pit Viper 271 was along with the additional drilling capacity, we found that we, we were coming on an aging fleet that we were trying to replace or getting something comparable to achieve um, the high diameter bit drilling that we were looking for and we found that in the Pit Viper 271. One of the newest additions to the EpiRock Pit Viper line, the PV271XC, delivers maximum efficiency and productivity. The XC stands for extra capacity, allowing operators to do more in less time. We've definitely seen an increase in, in our drilling availability. Um, we've seen an in, increase in, in productivity as well as increasing our, our shop muck inventory for our production drills here at Robinson. The desire to blend productivity with the company's commitment to safety led Robinson to the autonomous drilling capabilities of the EpiRock PV271XC. With autonomous drilling, operators have precision control while working from a remote location out of harm's way. How I start my day with the new Pit Viper is I come down, I do a good walk around, check the bit, make sure everything's optimal for a good 12-hour shift, and then I head up to the op, uh, op station and start drilling. So the way that Telemus Autonomous uh, Mining works is you know, it all runs off a computer. You go up there, you program it the way you want it to drill and the direction you want it to drill, and it'll take over and start running and punching holes. To make autonomous drilling work, you got to have a drill pattern with a, a pit edge berm, a geofence so the drill cannot leave the pattern, and uh, cones telling you that the machine is a, 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 a autonomous machine, along with lights telling you what phase it's in. In just the first six months, the autonomous drilling of the PV271XC made a major impact. Drill depth accuracy rose to 99.3%. Spatial accuracy went up to 99.49%. Overall, the operational penetration rose 37% with autonomous drilling, helping Robinson lower the total cost of drilling, all while increasing operator safety. EpiRock was there from the start with in-depth onboarding and support. Uh, EpiRock helped us tremendously with uh, some extensive training, excellent training, and uh, the ability to go see an autonomous drill work at another uh, project. Um, some of the challenges of converting to autonomous drilling is that it does take the operator out of the cab, so pretty much everything you've, you've learned to do over the years, you pretty much have to relinquish control to the drill and trust that it's going to do its thing. Um, it's definitely been a, a learning curve for me to to make that change. I think autonomous drilling is the, the way of the future out here and um, it, it's very cool to be a, be a part of it and I think EpiRock is definitely um, leading the way. The autonomous drilling project at Robinson Mine provided an opportunity to track performance as well as judge the acceptance of autonomous drills by mine personnel. Comparisons to previous methods showed that autonomous drilling delivered increases in safety, productivity, predictability, and cost efficiency. Perhaps just as important, the project showed that automated technology gained the support of mine personnel, including drillers, because it reduces worker exposure to other hazardous conditions, including noise, dust, vibration, and heat. Productivity was a key KPI for the Robinson Mine at the beginning of the autonomous project. Because we were replacing larger PV351s with a smaller PV271XC, we still had to hit the productivity targets that were set forth by the larger machines. EpiRock's data analyst pulled the information historically from the PV351 fleet and identified opportunities where autonomy would help us achieve that gap. 
not only with operator assist functions such as auto leveling, auto drilling, and the autonomous package, but also with increased utilization. We sat down with the Robinson team and agreed upon a productivity KPI for the project before we ever got started. We're happy to report that since the machine has been at site, not only have we achieved that productivity target, but we've exceeded it by 34%, further lowering the total overall drilling cost for the Robinson mine. Through their partnership with EpiRock and by embracing automated technology, Robinson Mine is helping its business performance while helping to create a stronger, safer, and more productive industry.